Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Yep, this is Triple Trouble part 5, I believe. Yes, this is part 5. Last time we saw what happened and it was they were they were like in a party and stuff like that and uh, Kazuya, I think it's called his name, I forgot. Kazo, Kazuya, whatever. Um, he was kind of suspicious of the MC because I think he knows what happened with Natsuki and the main character. So, uh, this gonna be very interesting. <laughs> Let's just continue before uh, before it's too late. Settling on the room with the most pink on the walls, I lay on her bed. I take off my suits, however, each kick causes me undue pain as her plastic bed frame keeps hitting my heel. Oh yeah, that's true, they will... Oh yeah, they are in the Natsuki's house. And uh, I think her father was like drunk. So uh, yeah, I think he didn't notice who I was. <laughs> so that's something. The pride girl's uh, covering strike me as obvious, yet still somehow feel out of place. I try to stretch my legs, but I find that I, if I do, they hang out of the edge of the bed frame. Finding a, finding a comfortable way to l lay down proves to be impossible. So I set on the setting with my back to the wall. To my surprise, I found her box set of manga placed under her dresser. When did she move them out of the club? The stream of water coming from the shower comes to the stop. Sounds of uh, footsteps are the only things I can hear besides my own her heartbeat. Hey, her tower trips wind water, carelessly uh, wetting her bedroom floor. Quickly, it drops to the ground, revealing her glistening bare body oh oh yeah okay oh okay good transition <laughs> hey 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 yo oh from the window to the wall fun fight oh god doki doki trip trouble originally had more people working on it Remember how this was supposed to come out in March 20? And then, and then because of them, they want nothing to do with this. We replaced basically everything. Okay. Shout out to the haters. Hope you have enjoyed this so far. Oh, I think I know what happened. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. 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 Okay. Something will happen next? Oh, November 4th. Second month of whatever. <laughs> I rub my eyes trying to wake myself up. It's the middle of the afternoon and I'm still trying to get going. I haven't been this tired since ever. My turn up suit stares at me from across the room, filling me with guilt. That's $500 down the drain. Was it worth it? Maybe, I don't know. The doorbell echoes throughout the house, my ears barely catching one of it. I threw my sweater on, quickly climbing down the stairs. I then lose my balance and fall down the stairs, but thankfully I'm able to stop it before it happens. The doorbell rings again and again, I can't help but roll my eyes at the lack of patience. My excitement and bruise hoping what's on the other side of that door may help me gain back my stride. I open the door with the Cucky smile right on my hopefully uh, hopefully unnoticeably tired face. Hey Marco, hey it's Sayeri, it's the the girl <laughs> I don't know what to call her. Hey Marco. Hey we share a small yet very comfortable hug. It's almost like hugging a childhood blanket. I look up from her shoulder to see a small but admittedly for formidable man awkwardly waving at me. I step back from the hug and return the awkward wave. Hey Marco, it's really nice to see you. Hey, my boy Fan. <laughs> sure man, you too. I shake his hand, but my mind is admittedly not with him. So I stands aside, clutching her chest. I cut her over to relieve some of the stress I've been under to be around f f familiar company, but I forgot. You've got some unresolved business as well. Uh, you've been shaking my hand for a while. Oh, sorry, sorry. Come on, main character. Don't, don't, don't scare Finn like that. Come on. 
I try to relax for now, otherwise this will be worthless. Come on in, you guys, make yourself at home. Sayer lights up once more, she grabs Finn by the hand and sprints to the couch by the side of the living room. She throws herself on it and it signals Finn to sit on it as well. This god's the best win! Alright, alright. I look away from the idiot's bl <laughs> blinding light, maybe in invited the live action ab adaptation of public displays of affection into my house wasn't a good idea. I dispel my intrusive thoughts and try to get into the world of a good host. Thanks for coming over, you guys. I'm looking forward to this, kicking back and chilling with some friends. No extravagant dances, no high diseases. Chill. Yeah, yeah, no props. Preparing for midterms has been uh, stressing me out, so I'll take any excuse for avoiding that and spending time with Sayuri. Oh, and I'm just a side piece, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, I'm messing with you. Alright. Finn's... Finn looks so innocent. He sounds so innocent, I swear. Nasiko would have laughed at that. The leap my brain made to put her at the forefront of my mind strikes me off balance for a moment. A quick yawn brushes it off, trying my best to keep distracting myself from any self-inflicted in mental assaults. I take a seat next to Finn, whose uh, presence acts as a catalyst for a possible distraction. So, I don't really know much about you, Finn. What would you like to know? Anything, really, like, how you and Sayuri met? We met in the English class. Ooh, nice. Sayuri jumps, putting herself in between Finn and I. I was actually trying to catch up on the math homework I had to do for that day. While he was trying to finish up the English homework we had for that class. And we exchanged them to get them done quicker. I suck at English, so this has been a lot, a lot of help. I mean, you speak English right now, so shoot, English is not that bad. And I'm like, the worst in math, so he's been helping me with that. You're not the worst in math. I totally am. She laughs into his chest while his face gives out to a shaky smile, obviously embarrassed by her public displays of affection. At least, I'm not the only one. Well Finn, I hope you're enjoying yourself here. Thanks, I have been... Finn takes hold of Sayuri's hand, while she continues to laugh into his chest. Are you okay? I am, I am, don't worry, you little worry ward. <laughs> Alright, I won't. My urge to scream in absolute disgust and pain is undercut by the immense amount of cringe I'm being assaulted with. <laughs> oh my god, this this has to be like the awkwardest thing you could ever imagine. Just your friend inviting uh, his girlfriend and you was just there looking them, just kissing each other, hugging each other. He's just like, so uh, did you heard about the movie? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> It's a type of like it's it's really very embarrassing. Trying to put a stop to the romantic scene, I bring up something to distract the lovely lovely couple. You guys up to smash? Oh uh wow that's um that's a really daring Marco, but I haven't this he meant the game, honey. Oh okay Finn, um Smash, you know, Smash Brothers. It's 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 a it's a game, okay? Is, is, is this a normal game? You don't need to worry, it's not the bang 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 and uh, do funny stuff together. Don't worry. Sure, I love Smash Bros. I actually played it uh, competitively. You do? I sign in relief. That's at least an uh, hour of distraction afforded it to me. Your aunt, Finn. Oh god. Oh god. After several extremely competitive rounds, which mostly consisted of Sayori accidentally throwing herself off the stage three times consecutively while leaving us to go at it. Pretty sure I spelled that wrong once again. Yes, this this has to be my catchphrase now. I, I spelled that wrong. Yeah. If if I make a merch, I think it's going to be like that. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. We're funny at the game deciding match. Come on, Fanny, you can do it. Wow, super much. 
so what well, super yes this is super guys yes that word over there you know you see here it's super oh my god wow s support much i'm sorry i have to support my man he kisses me thanks so i guess in <laughs> encouragement must be a power up because he somehow turned a two stock deficit into a victory for himself yes i gotcha how the duck did you do that i was Two stocks ahead. That sounds like you've got to get good, bro. It sounds like Finn's got much more of an edge than I realized. It just took an intense game of Smash to pray it out of him. Rematch? I demand a rematch. Who? Who is gonna win? Finn or Merku? This is how Chrome now music in the background now be honest me. <laughs> nah, man, you've got one sense and you blew it. Good, because I want to take a break. I don't. I'm hungry, Marco. Sorry. Of course you're always hungry. You are always hungry every time. You always want to eat the freaking cookie. Just chill, okay? Chill. You get it later, right? Just damn. Just save your hunger for later. Then I share a moment of, of synchronization and sigh. I think you guys know what I'm, I was about to say. What are you guys thinking? You want to get pizza? Oh, I can definitely go for a pizza. You definitely can, bun. Hey, are you calling me fat? Mm, uh, uh, you are. I'm gonna I'm gonna get hated by the comments right now, saying like, "Oh my God, you don't like Sayuri." I don't. Oh, okay, I'm gonna. Re I'm. I'm. I'm ready to get exposed. Uh, he isn't, but I am. She so throws a pillow my way, striking my face. I am definitely unamused. Or a pizza marker. Ask nicely. No. Say please. She sticks her tongue out. Fine. Win pineapples. Go to hell. I don't care. Go to hell. You want pineapples? Go to hell. No, just go. I know I'm not an Italian person, but I know how it feels pain over the Italian person. They will feel the pain because you said you want pizza on the pineapple. What is this, Sayori? What the hell is this? What's your problem? Okay, enough complaining. <laughs> Win what? <laughs> exactly. Marco and Finn, you? That's literally my reaction right now. I like pineapple on pizza. Sue me. Are you sure you want to date this coffee? <laughs> Finn lets out a little chuckle under his breath while I place the order on the delivery app. There's not much. I'm unsure of in her, so. Uh huh. Right. You guys are gonna say in front of me like you guys don't even don't care. See, Finn's his cheeks. When producing unbearable coos from her mouth, taking a seat on the couch opposite to the annoying couple, I slowly find myself melting into the yeah, wow, melting into the couch cushions. Mm, I'm a lot more tired than I thought. Their laughs started to stretch out for miles while I fall and fall. Oh, he's he's probably dreaming right now. Hey, there, dummy. What you sl what you sleeping for? Sleeping for, huh? Oh, sorry. Couldn't catch much sleep last night. Don't worry about it. She stands up above me while I'm slouched over my desk. New chapter of PGs is dropped. Wanna read it with me? You sure? I'm like half asleep. I may hold you up. It's alright. I like my dummy sleepy. You like your dummy sleepy or do you just like me sleepy? What's the difference? Bruh, Sayori. I'm so sorry that I called you Sayori. What is wrong with me? Natsuki. I stand up straight, stretching myself out to fit all this free space. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean that to sound dirty. How's that sound dirty? She pauses for almost an entire minute until it suddenly clicks. 
Oh, ew, you're gross. What? Can't handle a little bit of tomfoolery? Being gross isn't tomfoolery. Oh, I like the bit here. And who even says tomfoolery? I do. Oh, you're lucky I even deal with you. I smell. I smell creeps on my face as the still club room air rests on my skin. I oh, am, yeah, aren't I? D -d -d Dummy. <laughs> she pulls out the manga from her pack. Backpack and sell and sells into all usual spot by the window. She pulls me down with her, helping me take a seat. Come on, you geezer! Can't even sit down with my help. I'm just trying to find a reason for you to touch me. Stop being weird, Marco. Oh, he's so oh wait, oh no, he's so used to it. Uh, the the Natsuki from. Super Chopper version. Let's just say that's a good Super Chopper version, because she is very, you know, when it comes to Marco. But now, since Marco is now dreaming, he's actually talking with a real Natsuki, the classic Natsuki from Doki Doki Literature Club. No way. <laughs> You're right. You want to touch me anyway? In your dreams, her cute giggle roams my heart, touching me in the way I wanted. So this chapter of PNG is apparently the start of the new arc that's gonna change everything as we know it. Especially when all the boys that they've introduced to it, I'm faking they're not lying. Parfait Girls is about to become a room cum. Don't say you have a problem with boys or romance, or good for a bit comedy. I don't, you know I don't. But I hate the will day, one day, bullcrap and the multiple choices. It's weird and kind of uh, insulting. If I went in a room com, I'd just pick one guy. You can't really love more than one, right? Maybe. <laughs> Do you love me, Natsuki? What kind of question is that, dummy? The kind of question I'm asking you, honestly. No, tell me. Do you love me? Go away. Don't be stupid. Do you love me? I don't know. Do you? I mean, yeah, of course I love you. That's not what I was asking, I already know that. I'm asking you. Do you love you? Wait, 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 you asking me? Do you love myself? How can I respond to that? There's no way. Wait, there, there's a will, there's a way. He must have been really tired. Well, guess we're not going to get the answer today. Shall we go and leave him alone? No, he, um, he needs us here. He needs you here? Yeah, yeah. So when don't you tell me to leave, do I? I'm sorry, babe. I don't want you to feel weird about it. I get it. Oh, this has been so awkward, for sure. Thanks. Wake up, Marco. My eyes shift and slide, resisting to the stark and saturating living room. Hey, are you with us? Yeah, yeah, this is a uh, dust of for a minute. My phone rings widely and Sayuri answers in well. I'm still trying to wake up. <laughs> oh my god, no way. You gotta be kidding me, this song, really? Finn Stanley takes a seat next to me as I yawn the blur from my eyes. Maybe you should actually sleep instead of staying up all night. Maybe. Num nums are here, I'ma go get them. Money's by the door. She rushed out the door, leaving me and Finn alone to fester in the quiet living room. The awkward silence treated it through HB. Three tends to put me to sleep once more, and honestly, I may take it up to the offer. I heard about your drama with Natsuki. Uh oh. What? My eyes shut tightly as Finn awkward Finn just waiting for a reaction from me. So you really can't keep her lips shut, can she? She just wanted to talk to someone about it. And I just wanna say, you don't have to worry about me. You we're cool. Why would you worry about me? I know about you and Sayu's history, like when you guys dated. Ooh Okay. This is shocking. Her shock electrifies me awake as I entered the defensive mode that I've been revining for the past two months. Here comes another confrontation about my relationship with the guy's girlfriend. 
It was just a one-time thing and she was going through a tough time. I said it with cool, Marco. I made it. You seem like an okay guy and I want you to know that. Any friend of Sayuri's is a friend of mine. You're not jealous of space of me or something? Eating the hair on his chin, his face paints a picture of intense thinking. I don't know, I'm smart enough to see well, there's, <laughs> there's something between you two, but... I trust her, I don't think she'll do something like that to me. You also seem like a respectful guy, so... My head hangs low at the comment. I don't know about that. But yeah, Sayu isn't really the cheating type. Plus, I think she really likes you, Finn. I hope so, because I really like her. I lift my head to look at them, the man who's confronting one of my closest friends and I'm happy to say, I smile. Finn is a true giga shed. He deserves to have Sayuri. What a man. Sayuri comes in and wins the pizza. Inchbuck jumping up and down in a tune of her playful steps. Nom 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 time. Did I miss something? Nothing. This guy talk, you know. Just, you know, this this boy's talk. You won't understand. Aw, oh, you guys are no fun. <laughs> After receiving a... Uh, or long waited food. We moved we moved to the kitchen to start digging in. Munching into our respective slides of pizza, the three of us start diving head first into deeper conversation topics mostly innate today as well by Sayuri's on un unending nosiness. So Marco, how's the good of love life? I choked on the greasy cheese and disgustingly sweet pizza slice. Uh, really? I'm just wondering if you... I know he, he knows. Sayuri? Her face sports an expression dripping with guilt, <laughs> guilt that contrasts with her pizza-filled mouth. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Work? Really, Sayuri? You really told him? Why? He's my boyfriend. Dear, that is not an excuse for you to go spitting the details about my life around. She swallows the rem remaining food in her mouth and prepares herself for an upcoming argument. He's my boyfriend. He should know. How? He shouldn't. No, he shouldn't. I said how. Neither should anyone else. He's... It's my business. You told me so. I tell you everything because I trust you. But obviously that trust was misplaced. Guys, Finn's thunderous roar catches me off guard, and immediately both our hands turn to him. Calm down, both of you. Sayori, he has a point. You're talking? You're taking his side? No, cutie, I'm just... He slightly turns to me while his hands start gathering slices together into a small pile. Marco, hear her out. What are you doing, at least from where I'm sitting? It sucks. You can't date a person who's already dating someone. It's law. You're not only disrespecting the relationship you're putting your no nose into, but you're also disrespecting yourself. To be fair, we're not dating. And you're okay with that? Are you? Ooh. This is... This is... Ooh. This is something else. I literally don't have any words. This is so awkward to seeing those two talking about what I did with Natsuki. I mean, what the main character did with Natsuki, I didn't do anything. My nose crunches up as I try to resist showing my gritted teeth. Sure, I get what I want from the exchange, do you? Stop asking me rhetorical questions. The only rhetorical Ready to go if you already know the answer. Didn't you say you were bad at English? You seem to be speaking pretty clearly now. Marco, you can't talk to him like that. I can't talk to him or however I want. I'm sorry. Ugh, don't say sorry, Finn. It was, it was on me. I know, you're acting kind of jerkish. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is my crew to leave, so... Oh my god, it is... He rips the cardboard box and places a couple of slices on the grace, standing the cardboard cut out. I'll see you around sometime. Wait, why is he leaving? Because, Marco, we need to talk. Alone. Text me when you're done, Sayuri. 
Don't mean what? Oh god, she leaves the house, leaving this air of unsettledly in his wake. I never thought I'd be. Uh, I never thought I'd beg for the presence of another man in my household, but now I'm starting to see the light. That light. What do we need to talk about? We need to talk about you and Natsuki. What's that talk about? Marco, I can see it in your eyes. She tries to hold my hand, but I put it away, rushly. You're not okay. You look tired, and I don't know. There's a bit of sadness to you that wasn't there before. What's going on? I furrow my eyebrows, depending on my already obvious grimace. <sighs> Sayori, what are you trying to get at? I'm trying to say that this Natsuki stuff looks like it's really getting to you. She's my friend and I love her, but what she's been doing isn't really good. It's obviously hurting you, and more than usual too. Did something happen with her after the dance? I look away from her. I'm not ashamed, but I just... I just don't want to look at her in her eye. We, uh... We... <sighs> we went to her place, did the deed. Okay, that sucks, but it's not new. Saw so her dad. Her dad? Her dad's important. Things happened and it was different this time. It wasn't a grip onto the Fabrice inside of my coin filled pocket, losing grip on it as quickly as I gained it. It wasn't as pretty. What happened? It's hard to explain. It's like. Strain calls up onto my body, my waist gentering and shaking unnaturally. It's more of a feeling than anything. It felt like I was doing something wrong. I won't listen nod my head. Oh, this moon's gonna be hard now. You've been doing something wrong from the beginning. Wow, well, thanks. Oh, wow. Thanks, Mr. Judgmental. I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm being honest. Marco, you're in a relationship with a girl who's already in a relationship. This is like... Basic Morris 101. I like Natsuki, okay? I know, but does that mean what you're doing is okay? You'll tell me when you're always the one who was like, love beats all or whatever. So you love her. I sling my head back, erroneously trying to dodge at her emotional body below. Maybe. Yes, yes, I love her. Wow. Mm hmm you love her. Yeah. Wow. I'm jealous. The infection and smelly smile rubs off on me. Shut up. I'm serious. 15 year friendship and I didn't get that from you. You did. No, I didn't. I loved you. Uh, uh huh. I really did. Was the, the freaking of the fucking did I say the bad word? The funky wonky really that good? You see how you and Finn look at each other? Don't act all innocent. We haven't done it. Now, can you answer the question? Yes, yes, it was amazing. She shakes her head, undoing the smile and she had one a moment ago. <sighs> Do you think it's clouding your, your judgment? Honestly, yes. So, do you love her or do you love doing the funky wonky with her? I can love both. Sure, but here's the hard question. One, what I didn't really want to ask. With a fold of her arms, she defends herself from a view of me that she didn't want to see. Is there a difference? What's I mean? And it means, have you guys done anything with each other that isn't the funky wonky? We talk, we hang out, we read manga sometimes. I haven't seen you guys read manga all year. We did it that one time. One time. <laughs> I'd give it to the questioning and admit the truth that I've been holding it to myself. You're right, we're a little bit too focused on the funky wonky. That's not good, Marco. It's not ideal, but 
Not ideal, Marco. You told me you liked her before. Now you tell me you love her? You're not okay with this is being funny. I turned my back sire again in her face of unbridled white toesness out of my sight. Jesus turns around to face me, pushing her obnoxious face in front of me once more. Of course not, but I'll take what I can get. That's not how relationships work. My view tightens and focusing on her, each one of her lip movements become exaggerated to the point I can almost see the words come out of her mouth. Then how do you relationship work, sir? It's a give and take, you don't settle with less, unless she settles for something too. She's settling? I don't think she's selling as much as you are. She gets her amazing boyfriend and a little bit of you on the side that's not settling. It is. Her face flushes with new realization. Oh my gosh. You think she's selling by being with you? I didn't say that. But you're thinking it. I am not that pathetic. No, not usually. Damn, Jay. This plot twist is getting somewhere. <laughs> I'll be honest, Jay. You did a pretty good job with this. I'm actually liking this mod a lot. I know I said that a lot of times, but like, I'm genuinely being honest. I like this mod so far. You did a pretty good job. And I'm proud to that. Clap. Clap. Good job. Her head generally places itself on my shoulder, but it doesn't bring the comfort that she thinks it does. You're tall, dark, and ha Dark? What do you mean dark? Are you trying to be racist? <laughs> And handsome, and you think she's selling for you, that's a really big problem, Marco. Once again, I did not say that. I know you well enough to know. You keep thinking that you're pathetic and that no one loves you, and you don't deserve to be loved in the first place? You've always thought that way. But if you keep acting like this, you're gonna prove yourself right. My silence against my wishes speaks for me. This relationship is not good for you. Just give me more, me more time, I can't make it work. I give you time. And now you're standing here, barely a wink of sleep because of her. You need to stop this relationship now. I pull away from her weak grip, my gaze focus slowly on her. Well, we can't all be like you, Sayori. Miss Perfect Relationship got everything figured out with her stupid, dumb, tr transfer bull bullcrap boyfriend. Don't talk about him like that, he's a good guy. I kind of don't care. We can't all have that, we're not all lucky like you. I know she cares about me, I know she likes me. Is this more complicated than it seems? Jeez, the Wow, main character, are you? Wow. I'm... I'm being... I'm being very mean. <laughs> it's never this complicated, Marco. The truth is, if she care about you, if she liked you, she will date you. You deserve at least that much. And I'm not telling you this as your childhood best friend. I'm telling you this as the person who loved you more than anything. You need to end this. My, my eyes pierce through her every movement I make both setting with her anger. You know what, Sayori? What? I, would, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. I wouldn't be having these dumps. I wouldn't be f feeling tired or weird if it weren't for you. I don't get it. You're the one who went out of her way to tell my mom about my relationship with her when I didn't want her to know. Marco, it was, I told you that in confidence. And it's because of that I had to go through what I went through. You were going to face it at some point, okay? Look, I could take the whole I like girls with some spies thing. I was willing to let that go because it wasn't that serious. But this crap right here, to be fair, you didn't tell me not to tell her. You're smart enough to figure it out. So your steps back, probably in fear of my overly strained expression. You say you expect better from me, but why don't you trust me to just do the right thing? Because you're not doing the right thing. 
See, you don't trust me. And that's good because I don't trust you either. Either. You don't mean that. Don't I? Or do you not trust me to mean it? Marco, you ruined this for me. And now I'm gonna go fix it. Fix what? You can't fix something that's always been broken? You want to talk? Oh. Uh, weapon? Did, did I do something? Did the game broke? Oh. <laughs> what did you say? My heart bangs bangs on my eardrums. It's beat filling my head with more horrible thoughts. You heard me. You come in here when your sweet little boyfriend or whatever, but he doesn't know, does he? That you're broken? Stop. That you miss the press or whatever? Oh. Okay. Wow. Chill. Chill there, Marco. That's that's a bit too far, okay? Okay, I Sayuri is not my favorite. He's, he's like literally my le least favorite, but at least chill. <laughs> Poor her. Oh my god. You think you got it all figured out? But you don't trust him when the fact that some stop. No. You're making her cry. Dang. Maybe instead of trying to break me up or whatever, maybe you should focus on yourself. Because you're wrong. These things are complicated. So her lips quivering each tear running down her cheeks, blinding me when they're reflected light. Freak you. Don't treat yourself with a good time. You're a jerk. Maybe you're right. She's selling for you. Somehow she found trash worse than her. I hope you have fun, Marco. And when she's done with you, she'll go back to her amazing boyfriend and act like you don't even exist. Leave. You don't need to tell me twice. She slowly walks to the door as my entire body shakes. Is it shaking in anger? I don't know. Maybe not. She opens the door to the grey world outside, letting the strong tree pussing bra braze inside my home. I felt step outside, but for a moment she stops. A hand is shaking place on the side of the door. She slowly looks back at me, seemingly unable to recognize the face her, her eyes are set on. Marco, leave. If you need any, don't lie to yourself, sorry. Not in front of me. Now leave. She steps out and closes the door behind her, finally leaving me alone. Oh my god. God, this this is nuts. Oh, I wasn't expecting this at all. I wasn't expecting this at all. Jesus Christ. My body continues to shake, now helped by the sudden cold. The stench of the greasy pizza permits the kitchen, making me feel nauseous. My body surrenders to the shaking as I fall to the kitchen floor. I hold myself with all my stretch, trying to find some stability. But I just keep shaking and shaking and shaking. Oh my god. Tell me, Axe, do you want to call? Sorry for leaving the call. My mom needed to talk to me. It's all chill, my guy. I'm sorry about what happened, by the way. I know, thanks for listening to me. Of course. I know I can be a dummy sometimes, but if you need anything, you come to me. I'm always down to listen. Really? You listen to me. It's only fair. Thanks, Nat. I really appreciate it. Do you want me to talk to her? I think that would make it worse. Yeah, you're right. Do you want to talk about it some more? I'd rather not. Okie dokie. 
Bruh. I'm trying to be funny. Trying. <laughs> oh my god, you suck. I have proof that you literally suck. Last I checked, no you don't. Oh, right. Elamaya, we can change that if you want. Maybe later. Yeah. And you have this on the college, by the way. Why do you care? I thought you hate that stuff. I care because you care. Okay. I'm waiting some I'm waiting on some news. I apply to Yuri's university, hopefully I'll get in. Isn't it really far? Yeah, but it's it's good learning. I love the like that phone thing, it's pretty good. <laughs> I'll miss you when you're gone. I'll miss you too. Don't worry, I'll come visit. <laughs> what? Come visit. Shut up. <laughs> I'm serious. Good night, then. I'm really tired. Good night, retard. You're not even a. Dad, not. I can't be your daddy. What? You have a funny. How do you know? I saw it. I I, I went inside it. Oh yeah. Forgot about that, bro. Gonna not okay. Don't say my full name like that. I didn't mean it in a bad way. Oh, I was joking. And now you're not sick. Good night. No, I... I'm not mad. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? No, I'm mad. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro. Kidding. Good night, night. You really should me. You cheer me up. Bro. When are you guys going to sleep? <laughs> I'm not setting a heart. Go to sleep, dumb hold. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, well. December 4th, third month of our relationship. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I wasn't expecting this at all. This was very surprising for me. This plot twist, whatever, Sayori telling her boyfriend what just happened and she telling all parents and stuff. Oh my god, Marco. The main character got very angry, and Jesus, I feel bad for Sayuri. She was only trying to help. Oh, dang. But yeah, <laughs> amazing job, Jerry, amazing job. But yeah, um, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.